Hello friends, welcome. So we have done the grad for categories and posts using the Laravel split packet, which I think is very good. So you can speed up your Laravel uh, development if you want to work with Vue.js. Okay, so one more thing I want to add here because I had a comment in my video how we can add the, the export and he tried to add the export but had some uh, errors and if we go in the display docu uh, dev documentation and scroll down to the table we have the export here and uh, if I if we have this inside the road so let's open the web routes and scroll yeah we have this here we need to install the mat website excel package so let's open also this one and install the package let's go to the website documentation and if you want how to work with this one i have a, a video for the Laravel Excel export and import. So let's go in the installation first and let's install this. So Composer require the package, come here, open the terminal and paste that command. Then we need, if you want to add the configurational, okay, if you don't want, I'm not going to do that. So let's go to the export and you need to make an class but let's see if we don't need that let's go so we have installed the package and in here after you install the package you need to add the export in the split table so let's do that let's open the app http controllers and let's work first with a category controller and we need to add the export here so let's add the export and if I save we are in the categories and refresh yeah we have an error so it's not going to work and this I think is the maybe I make a mistake or I miss something but this is going to work only if we create a table class so if you go to the table component overview and we have an example to, to create a table class so let's copy this command here and open the terminal and I'm going to clear this up and make a table and let's say category categories okay and one more for the posts I'm going to make very good so after that in the controller we don't return that but just that class so let's do the same we are in the category controller and instead of returning something like this and let me comment this one and now return uh, now return categories with categories class like this and we need to import these categories here okay and we don't need that the display table and let's see if I come here and refresh yeah now we have only the ID because in these categories uh, configuration we have the with global search columns id and only the column id let's first the search is going to be for the name so what we had here with global search column name and let's add column name which can be hidden and sortable to true also i'm going to leave the id also and the search is going to be for the name change this one then add the slug and the action 
and also the pagination. So the slug, the action, and the pagination. Uh, paginate okay if I save come here and refresh don't expect a token because I think yeah we need to add okay so we have the same we had before if I search for uh, this name yeah we have that and also we can hide the slug and so on. Good. And the name is sortable and also the ID is sortable. Good. Now the idea is to add the export and if I just add the export here, here we have an example. So let's say just here export and if I save and come here and refresh, yeah, we don't have an error and we have this icon and we have an export as Excel. So let's try, let's say Excel export categories. So it's going to export as categories and let's in the desktop and I'm going to save that. And here we have the categories and if I open, Yeah, here is, let's zoom it. And we have the ID, name, slug, and the action, which is empty. Now, very good, let's go in this one and, oh no, in the export. So the idea is to create the table class, and then you can customize the export. Something like this, add the label, a file name, and what you like, but I'm going to leave it as it is. Also, you can, for example, hide the column. So let's copy this and I'm going to hide the action. So in the action, I'm going to add export as false. And if I save and let's try again, refresh, let's export and now categories one, let's save this. And let's see now. Yeah, we don't have that. Uh, so let's zoom it. Now we don't have the action here. We have only the ID name and the slug. Okay, so this is how easy to add also the export, but you need to create uh, the table class. Maybe I missed something, but I think the this is the way. And now let's do the same for the uh, post. So I'm going to close this and let's close also this one, this one and open the post controller. Post controller and here now we have the global search, we have posts, we have categories. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select all of them and let's open the post table and in the here I'm going to add all of the logic we had. We need to import the allowed filter class, the collection which is from Illuminate support collection. We need to import the query builder and also the category model. So app models category, very good. Now, here we have the table with global search. It's going to be title. So what we had here, or let me just copy this and paste it here. Okay, I will remove now this one, the return and save. Let's go in the post controller and instead of having something like this, we need to remove all the logic we have here now and 
I'm going to comment also this and return post post class. Now let's save and let's open the browser because the post also has the filter. And I think we have the same thing. So let's refresh again. Yeah. Let's search for the title here. Oh, good. Reset. Action. Slug. Good. Let's filter and all the category, all the posts has the category ID 1, which is the Fernando has the category 1. Let's the ID 1. So let's filter. If I choose this one, we don't have any, but if I choose the Fernando, yeah, we have all the posts. And let's reset. Good. Now let's add the uh, the export. Okay. So in the VS Code, in the posts, if I just add here the export and save, come here and refresh. Now in the post, yeah, we have something like this. And if I see, if I export this, nice. Let's open. And as you can see, we have the title slug and the action. Now let's remove the action. And I'm going to close this. Let's remove the action. And what I want also, I want to add the name here. So what we had in here. So I'm going to add a label in the export. So in here, label, and I'm going to say uh, post Excel. Okay. And I'm going to hide the action. So the same we did in the categories table. So I'm going to copy this and paste it here. If I save and come in the browser, refresh. Now we have post Excel. Save. Okay, and as you can see now, we don't have the action, and very good, everything works correctly. Okay, friends, that's it, how we can add the export in the split, in the Laravel with split component. It's very easy, in the table we just add, we, create, we need to create the table class and add a export there, and you can modify. I hope you enjoy and if you like don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video. See you in the next one, all the best.